Hello, Pedro here. This is a quick rundown on closest prim smooth location, a Houdini digital asset that I've created to reverse engineer something that I had available in Softimage, which is closest location, closest smoothed surface, which is something similar to MinPause or the, the combo XYZ this and prim UV to, to get the position but it gives much uh, smoother results. So you can see here that I have this shape and I have uh, a grid being conformed to it. And you can see how the grid goes around the edges and sort of like adapts to the shape, not just to a single polygon. Now, if I come to the asset and I change instead of prim smoother, I change to prim, this will give me the XYZ list uh, version. And so you can see that with this, I have the primitive, the, the grid sticking, the, the projection onto the, the mesh sticking on the top polygon and, and that's it. Nothing else happens. So I wanted something like I've shown before and this is uh, my attempt. Of course, I, I did a feature request so that this becomes a proper function with a proper implementation. Mine is quite limited. Like I think this is fast enough, but I think some for heavy things it could be faster. I also think it's not as accurate as it should be. And I'm using triangle, so I'm tripling the mesh to sort of um, make the calculations easier for me in terms of uh, barycentric coordinates, etc. So that's that being said, let's let's see what can be done. And so I'm going to put here. Um, I'm going to show here some some uh, examples. So I've shown the sphere. Uh, let's look into other things that are being outputted. So I can choose to output the position or not. I also output something that's called location. I call location here. It's a pair of primitive index and UV. So basically what's the number of the primitive and the uh, coordinates inside that primitive. And so this combo allows me to access more information for the primitive. And so for example, here I have the sphere with a color and you'll notice that by using the prim and the UVW, I can get the color from the sphere onto the grid that is being uh, conformed. So if I put this here, you can see that now the colors are being transmitted as the grid is being conformed. The other thing that I output is the sign distance. So basically the distance between the initial position before the, um, the conforming and the end position. And it's signed because it will know if the normal of the surface, you know, will be it basically checks against the incidence. And so if it's inside of the sphere, it will be negative. It's if it's outside, it's positive, etc. So that can be used sort of like mask things. So here I have, for example, let me put here Mr. Pighead. Let me reset this. And let's look at that sphere, for example. So uh, here what I'm using, I'm using the distance to blend between what it's uh, affected and what it's not affected. And so the end result here with some delta mush is to have something like this, where what's inside the sphere is being conformed to the sphere, but what it's outside is not being conformed. And so you can have some silly, uh, silly effect like this. And so what's deciding what it's affected, it's not, it's that, uh, that sign distance. Uh, of course, when I say sign distance, sort of reminds the sign distance field, but to be honest, that's a little bit what I try to go with. So I have here this, uh, this shape, I got this grid, and if we look at the uh, result of that, so I have here the colorized distance, and so definitely had that in mind. So I wish I had something that was a bit more accurate, that would give a an actual uh, sign distance feel like we have in VDB, but um, not at the moment. But you can see that the resulting vector field is also something similar to the VDB gradient. And yeah, so this is what the smooth version looks like. This is what the XYZ disk looks like. And this is what the near point uh, looks like. So way to, to look into these in another way. So I think that is all. Um, the only last options, I guess I didn't mention, were these two. So uh, inside threshold is basically like 
what what is to be considered to be inside of one of the triangles and so here i have it's like a, an epsilon a threshold that i say well if it goes above the value by this amount it's still considered to be inside and this is just to filter out uh, primitives uh, that are facing in a like almost in this case for this value it's like 120 degrees and so this would be like 180 degrees so anything below that is 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 discarded of course there's nothing below that so if you keep something like zero it will mean that everything that is uh, like 90 degrees from the initial hit will be discarded so it's you know just just exposing some um, some accuracy parameters nothing too complicated so but let me know if you try it out so what do you think and um, yeah hope you have fun until um, until we wait for a proper implementation cheers